you're looking to learn how to host a website and I'm here to show you exactly how you can do it without a lot of effort. Let's start. Okay, to start this web hosting tutorial, the first question would have to be this. What are you planning to use to host a website? A content management system or a website builder? To help you choose, imagine it as a Mac or a Windows PC debate. Using a content management system, or CMS for short, is like using a Windows PC. You get much more freedom to customize it for your needs, but you also need to do more work to optimize and secure it. Choose a CMS if you like messing around and doing things your way. Website builders are like Macs. They have limited functionality, and you're restricted to the features that the developers allow to be implemented. But most of the work in optimizing and securing is done for you. Choose a website builder if you want to spend more time on content and little time on the actual website. If you want to create a specific project, I recommend a website builder for small online shops, simple business landing pages, or portfolios. For larger projects, blogs or sites with sensitive data, go with CMS like WordPress. And I recommend using only WordPress. You see, most other CMSs are either focused on experts or don't have beginner-friendly interfaces. Okay, after your decision, we can start. What's the provider I would recommend you use for this? I would say go with Hostinger Shared Web Hosting, since it has both an easy-to-use website builder and Hostinger WordPress optimized hosting for the best performance. Now, why not go with some free provider, you might ask? I think you all know the answer. Never use free providers for anything more serious than just a test site. You always pay something. Always. Alright, I didn't mention that Hostinger has some of the best web hosting prices in the industry, and you can get an even better deal with my YouTube discount in the description down below. So Hostinger Web Hosting is the next best thing after free. As for the plans, I recommend going with the premium shared plan. It's the best web hosting option for beginners. It goes for around $3 a month and allows you to host 100 sites with 100 gigabytes of storage space and unlimited bandwidth. I recommend this plan mostly for the free domain name you get, but if you're in search of hosting just one site, the single plan is enough. So, use the link in the description below, grab a hosting plan, and maybe even get free months for free. Try it out! Next up, it's not enough to just host a website. It also needs to have an address or a domain name, so internet users can actually find you. A domain name is a URL you type in, basically something like facebook.com or google.com. If you bought the single hosting plan, you'd need to register a domain during your checkout or just buy it from Hostinger's dashboard. So we can go to domains in the dashboard or domain name search on Hostinger's website. Okay, a few tips about domain names. The first part of the domain is the name of your business or brand, and it can be, well, whatever you want as long as it's not taken. The second part is stricter. There are certain extensions you can choose, including com, net, biz. This can influence your price quite a lot, and naturally, the most popular extensions are more expensive. You can check this list to get a better understanding of why some extensions are used. Another thing, the free and discounted domains only have the price for the first year. After it, you'll have to pay for the domain name at the regular price. So, you gotta make sure you check this renewal price right here. The domain names can range from a few to a few hundred bucks. And you want to be sure your domain price fits into your budget. So, next in my how to host a site tutorial, the amazing thing about hosting your 2023 website hosting is that you don't need to choose WordPress or a website builder immediately. In fact, you can use these two methods interchangeably, one site with WordPress and one with a website builder. So, up until this point, things have been more or less the same, right? Now we have to choose what we do next, install a WordPress website or use the builder. 
If you want to use WordPress, we can just follow the initial hosting or setup if it's your first time logging in after purchasing. If you have already run this setup, don't worry. You can run it again by going to Websites and then adding a new website. Select WordPress, then just fill in the website data and wait until the setup is completed. Then we can use this WordPress dashboard to log in straight to our administrator panel. Here, go to Themes, add a new theme, and choose from, I don't know, like a million different themes. I mean, WordPress is a bit insane with the available plugins and themes. Anyway, you can manage your content through pages or post dashboards. I won't go in too much detail here. If you do want a more in-depth WordPress tutorial, you can find a hosting or tutorial right here. For a website builder approach, go to the dashboard, add a new site, and pick the builder option. Here, just choose one of the hundreds of modern looking templates like this one. And after that, you can just change the images and text to your own content. Hostinger Builder has a full drag and drop system, so you can easily customize your design even further. After changing your site to suit your project, press here to publish it and select the domain you've bought. That's it! Congrats! You're proud owner of a brand new website. Last thing, if you already have a website, you can submit a migration request right here and Hostinger's team will transfer your site for free. I've done it a few times myself and to be fair, I haven't had any problems with it, so good job Hostinger. That's gonna be it for my short how to host a website tutorial. Just to reiterate quickly, I recommend going with Hostinger's shared plans for any beginner. Hostinger website allows you to really use both Website Builder and WordPress interchangeably. So now what's left is for you to create your own website. Fly, you fools. So what do you think about Hostinger? You can go and watch my fully fledged Hostinger review right here. As always, I leave my exclusive deals in the description down below and on the screen. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.